I want to share with you an indirect but effective way you can help people who have been affected by natural disasters, along with helping yourself. The whole world has watched as North Carolina and Tennessee have suffered tremendous damage from hurricanes, and last night, a massive hurricane also hit Central Florida. My mind has been preoccupied with prayers and thoughts and just sadness for all of this devastation, especially when I see videos about the animals. So today when I found myself with an extra hour and a half that I didn't expect, I jumped into a meditation and asked my higher self to just speak to me and teach me some things. Normally my social media messages are from people's higher self hypnosis sessions and what I learned from those, but this one today is what my higher self taught me. Being sad is a low frequency vibration. And what does it do? It feeds low frequency energy into the collective, into the planetary energy. So if we can do our best to keep our energetic vibration high, we actually benefit the entire collective. With my eyes closed, my higher self told me to go inside and focus on my beingness, my isness. Not my personality, not my beliefs, not my feelings, just my beingness. The part of me that will go on and live on well after this life. And to not label it, not give it names or anything else, but just to feel it. So I did. I sat there feeling that, being in that feeling of just my existence. And my higher self told me to keep my attention there. So I did. Then after a little bit, my higher self said, now bring your attention out to your body and to your personality and to what's going on in the world around you and notice the contrast in how you feel. So I felt my attention leaving that inner awareness of myself and going more toward the outside, toward things that were going on around me. And as I did, it felt anxious. It felt chaotic. It felt really disorganized. Then my higher self told me, contract it back in again. Bring your attention, your consciousness, back into focusing inside of you, into your beingness once again. So I did, and then I felt it again, that peace that came along with doing that. Then my higher self had me bring my attention back to my external world. And I did, and all those chaotic and anxious feelings arose once again. My higher self was trying to show me the difference between bringing my attention and my focus to my beingness, my inner light, my God spark, and compare that to living and being and thinking and existing in the outside chaotic part that is filled with beliefs and dramas and traumas and everything else that's going on in the world and everyone else's energy mixed up with it and all the sadness and the other heavy emotions, the other heavy energies. And my higher self told me to take these little breaks every once in a while, every day, and just go inward, even if it's just for a few moments or even a few seconds, and just focus on that inner isness, that inner beingness and find that peace and give the collective consciousness a break from adding any of my low frequency energies to it. Because see, when we are in a high frequency energy, we feed that into the collective, thereby helping the entire collective. So instead of focusing on sadness or heaviness or depression and anxiety over what's happening in the world, take a break from it. Give the world some of that high frequency energy and add to the peace for both yourself and for the planet.